Let's get a good sweeties. Mama don't lie. Yeah. Health is wealth. So we're here, I'm alive. I mean, what we do when we get to America straight away, we come to the shop. None of this. Turmeric shots. Really. I'm getting some cakes and cookies. Shit on them donuts. I'm fussy when it comes to donuts. And there's a food place in here as well, which we might get for a snack. Must be Halloween. That's why America does it best. They'll be gone in like an hour. Actually, no, you know what? You're going to need them anyway. These are actually a smaller pack, so I'm not going to be fat, so I'll have a smaller pack. Oh, one of the best sweets of all time, man. Eh? Mm. What are we saying to these guys? I'd like them. Thanks. Where is it? Where's Sago? Oh, she's over there. Our, our, our goal is to find liquid death water and rain. Hey, <laughs> 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 hey, one note to me. We have found liquid death. I've never heard seen these flavors. Bury it alive, that's quite cool. Iced tea. That is Grim Reaper, Reefer, Reefer. The red one is dressed in peach. <laughs> that's a good one. Would you like one? What one? Come on, brother. I've got a little death here as well. In case I got beat by Tommy Fury. Rest in peace, Prime Dickhead. What are we missing? Rain. 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 Like back home, mate. Right guys, so we have landed. Wow, that was good. Right guys, we have landed at the, is it Bell Diamond? Dell Diamond. Right guys, we have arrived in Texas. We are here at the Dell Diamond Arena. It is one day before we compete. We have took the weather from Scotland with us to Texas here today. What's the first event then, Luke? So we've got the deadlift. So we've just been through the familiarization, so that's all done. First up tomorrow is the Tower of Power deadlift for reps, 408 kilos. Pretty self-explanatory, most reps won. Um, we've done the draws. What place are you? I'm fourth out, you're fifth out. I'm fifth. So that'd be good nice. enough. At least a few people built before us. It's a 19 and a half inch pool as well, which is 
quite good. We've been training 18 and, and on a stiff bar, so it's a spectacle as well. I think this is really cool. I mean, I was watching it live stream last year, and what a way to deadlift on top of a big massive thing and packed out in an arena. It's going to be cool. So yeah, it's Rogues producing something special here. Event two, we have the sled pull. I don't know its right name, but we're going to call it the sled pull. It's 500 kilograms. It's on our, like a train track thing like we did with the pa Wheel of Pain, that same surface. And it's just uh, 15 metres who pulls 50 it. Feet, is it 50 feet, 15 metres who, who pulls it there. The Whoever pulls it the quickest wins. And there's, the only thing different about this is there's no, no rope. So you have a harness, but there's no rope for it. So a brutal event, but it's going to be good as well. I think it's good that it's second event in. We're not going to be too fatigued anyway. So we'll see what happens with the weather as well. Might have to do a few different things. But we look forward to that as well. That's a cool event that none of us have done here before either. So we're all in the same playing field. Event number three to finish off. Day number one is... We got the list. Sorry. We don't fucking know what it is. Who cares? <laughs> Event number three, I don't know, I'm tired. How tired out of ten are you? A million. One. I think. Two. Uh, ah, log medley. Oh, Tom's got the last. Event number three is the ultimate log medley. Now, people will think this is just logs, but uh, Rogue have done this the last two years with it. It's yoking to a uh, log. This year, it's finger fingers. Two fingers and two fingers to 245 kilogram fingers into three reps at the 160 log. Quickest time wins, and uh, I love finger fingers, so this is going to be a great event. I think that we've talked about before, before, I think you'll win it in the transition between fingers and log, but yeah, it's going to be a, a cool event, isn't it? So. Apparently, you, you do the fingers, fingers, and it locks into place, apparently. Yeah, we've not seen them, so we'll, we'll, so we'll see how it goes. Um, That's the second day for then. Fifth event, or no, sorry, the fourth event fourth is. Event. The Apollo and Axel. I mean, this hasn't been seen in a competition for a long, long time. And I think everybody's buzzing that this is back, something different as well. 180 kilogram Apollo and Axel wheels for reps, two minute time cap. And yeah, this is going to be, I'm very excited. It's something different. It's as many reps as possible. So whoever's got the sh strongest shoulders and conditioned at the end of that day, at the end of it, will win. So. I mean, they've said in it, there's no grip shirts, there's no tacky spray, yeah. there's, there's nothing. It's just a t shirt. And no this whole event is where you're not allowed liquid chalk in the whole event. Every single event, you're not allowed. Liquid choke. You can't belt clean it and then clean it up. If it accidentally hits your belt, that's fine, but that's uh, good because I don't believe in belt cleans for Axel. Uh, last but not least, the duel. Standbag runs, as you can see on Strawman, but it starts with two heats of five. The well, bottom five go out, the top five go through to then a second heat, which is bottom three go out, and then it's, the last one is one and two. Number one and two go head to head and see who wins. This is going to, I think this is going to uh, be very. Uh, a fun, sorry, a very, very fun event to uh, to watch. It's like CrossFit kind of style. You actually do your first five. If you're through, you get eight and a half minute rest. Then you do the second round, you get six and a half minute rest. So it's it's going to be brutal. I mean, we're doing 170 kilogram sandbag for the first round. Imagine doing that three times with like 10 minutes rest between each one. So I'm quite glad that they're taking some CrossFit into strongman. You can see CrossFit do a lot of strongman stuff. So it's nice to be able to test our fitness and strength. And uh, it's going to be look cool anyway. So. Oh, we missed that arm over arm. Yeah. Jesus, that was shit. So, uh, hey guys, we're a bit tired, so we've missed one of, one of the events. So, the arm over arm, the, yeah, so rogue, the rogue coaster yeah. we've missed. So, what event is that? That's, after, that's the fifth event. So, that's the fifth event. Just That's the penultimate one. That's the one before the duel. So, the difference in this, they were saying, is that the, the rope is, is metal, um, and then they've wrapped the, the kind of rope around that, so there's no slack in the rope, if that makes sense. Also, whereas last year, the time stopped when the sandbags hit the mat. The, sa the time stops as soon as the 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 roll of the coaster hits the, the straight surface. So you, if you can imagine, it's going up, going up, and then as soon as it hits that kind of intersection point, that's when the time stops. A good test. Oh, I think it's going to look fun as well. Again, it's I'm over arm, so you just keep pulling until the, the referee stops his whistle. But yeah, that is all the events. So let's go through them. So, so. Event number one, deadlift. Deadlift. And event number two, sled pull. Sled pull event number three, log oh. and fingles. Yeah. Event number four, Apollo and Axel. Apollo and Axel. Event number five, arm over arm. Arm over arm, roller coaster. Event number six is the duel, aka the sandbag carry. As you can see, the weather is a little bit minging behind us. They're going to review that tomorrow. And what they've said is that we won't be pulling or lifting on any wet surfaces. So they've assured us that it'll be all safe. So if we have to, there's additional areas that we might have to go and lift in um, if it's still wet but hopefully fingers crossed it'll be nice and dry yeah should be good yeah buzzing to be here missed last year but uh again rogue treat you cool i mean when we walked in here we got guitars we got all different things that you'll see later on i mean we got these this is something that's really cool Crocs. Rogue's own clocks and they had them in my size so yeah we're going to put on a show for you guys that like we always do and 
We will see you guys soon. See the box you talk over. Love is good. <laughs> I don't know what I thought he would hold this, but what the world's gone to for people like you. A people like you, I wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it is. Oh, it is. It's your dollar ain't shit. And it takes to no end. Goes to the rich man. No for rich man. Hey guys, so we are back from Scotland at the stadium, an unbelievable place. I was here the first year, missed last year and back this year. And honestly, you know, Rogue, treat you like absolute kings, create a nice hotel room, plus we got so many goodies for them. This year, my God, how the heck did we get one of these, huh? I won't take it all out, but you can pay. See your Rogue Invitational. Another a guitar from Rogue, unbelievable techers. So that's cool. And uh, the legendary, I've got one of these from 2021, Rogue Invitational Belt, 2023. It's a wee collector's thing, so that's very nice. Fine, I got these. Wait, these are, these are Sinead's ones. Even your coach gets it. These are Sinead's white size six ones. Um, I got oh, a Yeti, there's a Yeti in the woods. Look at the size of that. Yeah, big Yeti bottle. That'd be good for tomorrow. It was actually bad weather, but now it's going to get hot, so I think I might use this tomorrow. Rock. What's this? Roca. Sunglasses. They look like King Gucci's, eh? And we got a handle for this bag. So yeah, I've got one of these bags, but I like this bag better because the better, better. In 2021, we got a bag that was open. This one actually clips, so... I like bags that clip and actually close, so yes, very well done that one. This look at this personalised go rack bag, T Stokeman. As you can see, we have got two settings, two settings. Getting nervous. Oh, here we go. Right, we have got a rogue invitational top, t shirt, bam bag thing, a bag. Jeez, they actually have. The size 17 go rats shoes, so nice black ones. So, yeah, so that's very cool. But these are mine anyway. <laughs> this is just what we're going to be wearing at the out there. We've got green rogue ones, black road t shirt, a grip top, shorts. But yeah, that's about it. So, big thank you to Rogue guys. Thank you very much for that. The room's buying, this is buying, but I'm still on a mission to find rain before Saturday, so let's go. And right guys, actually before we go, obviously you guys see me at Walmart last night uh, and I got some sweets. I don't want to bore you guys with tasting all the sweets because I know what they taste like, but I've never had these. Sinead and Tom picked me these. Ranch flavoured Pringles. And, well, everybody knows I love Skittles, but I've never really had these smoothie ones before. So, Um, oh, Skittles. I should have went for the normal Skittles. Oh. I may have to get different ones for the comp. I was looking forward to getting Skittles. Last night in the Walmart, as you've seen the video, I had the big massive red packet origin ones. Put them down and she was like, get the smoothie ones. I've got a receipt. I need to put them back. <laughs> right, I'm going to try these. Ranch bursting with flavour, bursting with probably shite. Mm. You know what? Do you like the taste of bursting with shite? These are like, these actually taste like sour cream. They're green uh, Pringles and I love sour cream ones so. Mm. You can't stop. They're good, but them um, should be illegal to buy. Gross. Now, our hunt for rain continues. This is the one that's got everything. Look at this for a garage, man. 
Oh my day! I can't believe it, I've never been this. It's got the nice, one of the nicest flavours on the market. White gummy bear. Oh. Does it nice? Mm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mission accomplished. We went to a gas station across the road and they had the best flavours, American flavours. Rainbow sherbet, sherb we have cherry limeade and they've got white gummy bears in there. Three of the best flavours, so mission complete. Rain, you're welcome. We are now going to Raising Cane's to eat all the chicken. Thank you, Big Jane McGrorty, all the way back in Everton for the recommendation. I hope it's good, because if it's not, chuck this at you. Got a diet, diet, diet coke. That's what I'm talking about. Holy crap. You just me. Bon appetit. We have got chicken and chips, as you can see, you num nut. And this is Texas toast, is it? You'll love that. Lovely, James, that was a good one. So thank you very much for that. It's put me in a great mood. And, uh, but you know what? I'm gonna enjoy this food and we will see you in the next one. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Knock, knock. Who's that? Winnie. Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs>